DaVinci Resolve for noobs. I got a comment this morning asking me how he can take his export and reduce the file size. Typically when I'm gonna export a video for YouTube, I'm usually gonna use a custom export setting. I'm typically gonna use MP4. That's a fairly universally supported export container. But when you're trying to reduce file sizes, one of the things you wanna think about is your codec. Now the three main codecs you're gonna get for an MP4 container are H.264, H.265, and AV1. H.264 was sort of the industry standard for a long time, but nowadays it's a little bit outdated and you can get much higher quality out of an H.265 codec in smaller file sizes. AV1 is an even newer codec that allows for higher quality exports, but the file sizes can vary and they're not always universally supported. Now by default, I usually leave my bitrate quality at automatic and set to best. And what that's gonna do is always give the best quality bitrate the highest allowed for the container type that I've chosen as a format. Now, some people like to restrict their bitrate to certain levels, but I don't prefer doing that because you can have sections of your video that actually need higher bit rates for more complex portions of the export. But if you want to decrease your file size, what you can do is change the default rate control from variable down to constant QP. Now there's a lot of different options under here, but what I would offer is change your preset to somewhere around slow, as well as the tuning set to high quality. But it's these three factors here that you want to pay attention to. The QPI, the QPP, and the QPB. Now I know this is getting very technical, but QPI is basically for interframes or full reference frames. P frames are predictive frames or referencing the previous frames. And B frames are bi-directional, so it's predicting from both the past and the future frames. And if you want to find some settings that give you high quality but lower export sizes, I would recommend a very simple formula. Set the QPI for 22, set the QPP for 23, and set the QPB for 24. And for reference, these are four exports of the exact same short that I had filmed the other day. They were all exported in MP4, but this one was exported with an H.264 codec, 414 megabytes. When I swapped over to an AV1, 344 megabytes. And when I went to H.265, that got it down to 288 megabytes. That means my H.265 export is actually 30.4% smaller than my H.264. And I'm still maintaining all of that quality in export, just using a different codec with a more complex compression compression algorithm to do so. But I also did the same MP4 export using a constant QP with the settings that we talked about. That got the export file size down to 177 megabytes. This export is 57.3% smaller than the original H.264, and I've still maintained a high quality export. I'm gonna link some quick tips down below in the description and the pinned comment that you can reference if you're trying to reduce the file size of your next export.